Hello, today I'm going to try and create this circuit by using a digital circuit simulator called Logisim. First, you have to click on Logisim here, this desktop shortcut, to start it off. Then, if you notice, the circuit here has got two NOR gates. There are some common gates here the inverter, the AND gate, and the OR gate. But that's not what you want, you want to have the NOR gate. So you click on gates here and click on the NOR gate. Left click on the grid and you get one NOR gate. And left click again, you get the other NOR gate. Then you have to label the inputs and the outputs. So you have to do some wiring here. So here is your R input. Now you have to try to do the outputs. Input goes to the output here. The drag bias and this is becomes one of your outputs. And the drag again. And here the input becomes you go to one of your the other of your outputs. Okay, so now we have to put in the inputs. There's a square here and we click on the inputs here. And there's a output is a circle. You click and you see the outputs are here. Right? Circle. And uh, now we have to label the inputs. This will be R, the other one will be S. Right click and show attributes. Click here. It will be R. And the other one would be S. Right click, show attributes, and S. Here would be your output would be Q. Right click, show attributes, would be Q. And the other one, enter, would be not Q. Right click, show attributes, and be not Q. Enter. And now you can test the SR latch. You can try testing some of these values here and see what your in output and inputs input outputs will be. Okay, so here we have zero, zero, and zero, and you get a current, uh, the previous current Q and a current Q, current not Q. What happens is when you change the value of S and R, R and S, S and R here, your current Q will become your previous Q. Okay? So if you change the inputs S and R, your current Q will become your previous Q. So that's what's going to happen now. We, we check first, and we'll see what can be done to the inputs. We click here and you see here, we try setting one of the values resetting the value first. If we set R as 1 and Q will be 0 and not Q will be 1. Okay. Now, your previous Q, when you change the inputs, your previous Q will become your current Q. I mean, your current Q here will become your previous Q. <laughs> That's the other way around. Okay. So when you change the inputs, your current Q will become your previous Q. So now, you see, you test this one and see. Okay. Uh, so we'll try line five now. Where we set r e s equals to one and r is equals to zero. S is equals to one and r is equals to zero. You notice that your Q will become 1 and your NOT Q will be 0. So you check line 5 and you'll see that this is the case. Your 
Q would be 1 and your not Q would be 0. Yes, okay. So you can keep testing it, all the values here, and see whether you get those uh, correct values, not the current Q and the current not Q, whether you get them. See? Uh, but you can't actually get it, but it's one, one you, it's, you can't get both values the same, see? So current Q is 0, current not Q, not current Q is 0. So you can't use these are restricted values here. You can't actually get S and R as 1. Can't use S and R as 1. Okay, so that's it. Um,